Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I want to give up honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, and salutations to you, Akim, that's pushing this word in sincerity and truth. Back with another quick lesson. This is going to be dealing with the jobs report. I'm going to let this video play. Grab a couple of scriptures because, uh, <laughs> hey, this thing is going to get real out here, man. People are being put in uh, desperate situations. Actually, at the gig today, I was at a stop. And uh, one, at the stop, one of the guys that worked at this particular location I was d d delivering to told me that, uh, uh, you know, Coca-Cola, he had a problem getting his shipment of, of you know, of pop or whatever. <clears throat> and he was talking to the driver once the driver finally showed up and he was saying that they're having a big shortage of, of people at the Coca-Cola company. All right. They don't want to drive. All right. They got me thinking that. Uh. uh you're going to have to see a shortage in everything, man. All right. I know Coca-Cola is a huge company. And I, and I used to think that they were union jobs. But even now, uh, I'm thinking because of what Sleepy Joe did with the zombie pass, the zombie juice mandate, you're going to have a lot of people uh, uh, not able to get these jobs because they have to have that requirement of that zombie juice. You see? So they're going to say one thing. But they're really going to mean another when you see a lot of these news reports talking about, uh, uh, every, why, you know, all these places are hiring, but, but nobody's getting hired. All right. Because <clears throat> that, uh, like I said, that that mandate Joe Biden put in uh, place is going to uh, come into play uh, big time as this place circles the drain. But let's get into this uh, video. So like you. It was just playing a minute ago. Yeah, it's, Heather, let's go behind the numbers here for a few moments. Uh, your key takeaways from, from this report. What do we know about the things that stopped people from going back to work? It's very clear that obviously the Delta variant of the coronavirus was a huge impact. You could see really weak hiring. Hotels only added barely 2,000 jobs. Restaurants added just 29,000. Those are some of the weakest gains in the hospitality sector in months. So that's clearly a sign that the Delta was weighing on hiring. But I think another key factor here, and this is a real issue for the Biden White House, it ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with that, uh, that, that zombie, zombie V. It ain't got nothing to do with that, man. All right? <clears throat> are people not going out because of the fear of that? Like I said, a lot of these places are big places, the hospitality industry, restaurants. And guess what? If you don't have that juice, uh, you're not going to be able to work there. Right? So it's showing you that there's it, it's a lot of people that feel a certain way about it than what the media is, is letting on. All right. Not because they, they're afraid of it, because uh, if you go ahead and go get the zombie juice, what do you got to fear? It's so-called safe and effective. Right. <laughs> but that's just the media, you know, uh, you know, lying through their teeth. We continue to see struggles for women. More than 300,000 women dropped out of the labor force in September, mainly over those child care issues. While many schools did reopen, there were a number of outbreaks. There's issues with bus driver shortages. There's issues with after school programs getting canceled. A lot of parents, particularly moms, were trying to still make that child care and work juggle. And many simply said, I can't do it. And they stopped searching. I think the key takeaway here is that black women in particular and Americans without college degrees continue to struggle. And she said it, man. That black woman, man. That proud black woman is, is out here hurting, man. All right. That queen is out here hurting. And it's only going to get worse and worse. You see, let's get into the scriptures. Let's go into the book of Isaiah 19 and 14. It says the Lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. And they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof is a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. Vomit. So you got certain inside, well, certain people trying to so-called fix Mystery Babylon, aka America. But the powers that be, all right, the evil elite, the ruling elite, 
don't want this place fixed. And most importantly, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad doesn't want this place fixed. Okay, so every every move they make, a uh, <laughs> Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad is going to make a counter. Verse 15, neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail branch or rush may do. But that's the, that's the funny part, because everywhere you go, you see what? A, a fucking uh, now hiring sign. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah, there is work out here. But everything is moving to uh, uh, zombie zombie juicers only, man. All right. That's the really that's really what's going on, because that's the next move. OK. And a lot of these big places don't even care about losing business or not having enough employees because they know that the, the, the insiders that are juiced in. Right. They know that soon the shit is going to be closed up anyway. So it's a ends. You know, it's a means to an end. All right. Let's go back. To find jobs right now, this is a very uneven recovery. Americans with college degrees have fully recovered all job losses. Those without college degrees continue to really suffer and in some cases stop looking for work at all because they're so discouraged. I mean, you, you, you recently wrote about that, uh, how uneven this economic recovery has been for the um, educated versus the uneducated. Why, why do we think that is? What, what do we know about um, the disparity there? One of the biggest issues we've seen, there are certainly black women, for instance, report <laughs> a lot Damn. more child care issues than even white women. There you go. You should keep mentioning that black woman, man, because one... He, as uh, this this nigga Kevin Samuels have shown, hey, the black woman don't want no family, man. She don't want no husband. She don't want no stability. She's strong and independent. But hey, that that narrative is getting crushed. Hey, with these job reports, man. But that, <laughs> but like I said, the point is, man, that this 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 place is crumbling. Society is, is circling the drain, right? And he is uh. He and his minions are going to lose big time. Let's go to the book of Isaiah 30 and 2. It says, I started one. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord power, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go, go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Right, people still think that this place has something for them, man. All right. But this place is going to if you agree with this place, you go along to get along in this place. It's going to lead to your destruction. As the scriptures talk about loving not the world, neither, neither the things of the world. And this world is moving with the vibration of Satan right now. OK. And if you can't see it, hey, that's hey, that's on you. Verse three. Therefore, shall the shrimp of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. And, and you think you done, done everything right. And she said something about degrees. It's a lot of with degrees that don't got no job. So I don't know what the hell reports uh, she looking for. These motherfuckers got debt and no job. So, you know, she's saying, you know, one thing, but not giving you, you know, the full cup of tea, so to speak. So <clears throat> these women got these kids, no, no one to watch these kids. And then the jobs uh, that are hiring, like I said. They they mandating that zombie juice, man, especially ones that got decent size because they know the companies, if they don't mandate it, if they don't go along with the government, the government will put them out of business. You see, let's go back. Hopefully this thing keep playing. women so just differences in different communities of how hard the school reopening has been or the availability of after school programs really varies across the country i think another key issue that really stands out to me is you hear of course businesses saying i can't find the workers i need but when you talk to unemployed people they also say i apply every day i've been sending out hundreds of resumes and i don't get 
any jobs or I barely get any callbacks. And what seems to be happening is so many big companies are now using robots and computer algorithms to scan hundreds of thousands of resumes for jobs. The problem is many of these robots are too robotic. They are knocking people out, particularly anyone who has longer than a six months of unemployment. Well, a lot of people in this pandemic were out of work for more than six months. They are eager now. So AI is doing all that, man. The computer is scanning these things. So a lot of these uh, so-called white collar jobs, HR jobs, you got a damn computer doing that work, going through resumes. <laughs> if, you, if you show a six month, you know, gap, which the lady was right, motherfuckers ain't been working. Hey, you know, you can't even get it. So you, even if you got the uh, so-called right experience, hey, you disqualified for that. So Esau's system is through. It's, it's fucking done. Uh, and these women, she kept mentioning that black woman, man. Hey, she gonna learn, man. Let's finish off with this. Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold to one man of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. So these women are going to become shamefaced, man. This proud, I don't need nothing spirit is going to be put out to earth, man. Real soon, man. Because things and times are getting crazier, getting more uh, dangerous, you know. And we got to be uh, uh, circumspect because, as the scriptures say, the days are evil. But that's the point. I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, and Shalom next time.